Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Total War Rome 2, the Pompey campaign. Um, well, this is uh, immediately after uh, I stopped recording the previous part because I, uh, I really want to see how this campaign is going to continue. Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't care. I'll just roll with it. Um, what would be the best plan? Invade this port or go to Serta? I'll go to Serta because that means I have to spend less time on the water, which is always the safest plan. I guess I can have double time on. Let's not do that. Um, so yes, uh, so let's expand this, build that, destroy that, and done. But yeah, I don't expect Anthony to be that dangerous. Because I feel like if he is going to be dangerous to me... Uh, he would abandon the east, so the Parthians would just destroy him. <laughs> I don't know how powerful the Parthians are in this uh, this campaign, but you know they they should be capable of doing that. Uh, assassination attempt on Sextus Pompeius Magnus. No. Oh. Well, I'm not going to get an other senator on this obviously uh, but basically uh, these guys can't die the leaders of the Roman factions they're a bit like the uh, the leaders from Napoleon so like uh, Blucher, Napoleon, Wellington stuff like that Uh, okay. Go there. You go there to protect the fleet. Okay, so I need wood to upgrade that, but it doesn't really get me anything except more income. Which, well... You know, it's useful, but not exceptionally. Another event, Hortensia Balba. A member of your family has been dabbling in surgery. A skill, I guess this time a her skill, with a knife leaves a little to be desired, and a pile of bodies becoming difficult to hide. Uh, hide them. Let's see. Everyone needs a diverting hobby, but when things get out of hand, it is a matter for the family. Nobody else needs to know. Let's hide it because. You know, in worst case scenario, I would lose support, which in this case would probably, you know, it would probably be smart if I lost some influence. Um, let's get rid of this. Just in case they decide to attack me. Okay, so now my army is safe. So let's go after the port with this fleet. Can't really do anything with that.
And <laughs> I'm barely making any money. It's really annoying me. But uh, Lepidus is actually doing quite well. I did not expect that. I do have to be a little bit careful about those Antony fleet. No, I have to keep an eye on that. Maybe uh, build up the other navy a little bit. I saw that, Numidia. Well, as long as they attack uh, Carolus. Yeah, I lost 25 senators. Losing Carolus is. N Wait, that would actually be a, a problem, but it's going to be hard to lose it because it has actually a pretty decent garrison with six legionaries and one veteran legionary unit. So that's going to be uh, a very tough fight, which is going to be very hard for a Numidian faction to win. Destruction complete of a villa. But I will go after Serta. Kirta, I guess. It's supposed to be. Um, there's nothing here. I don't want to attack it with this fleet because uh, it simply doesn't have the manpower to actually take it and keep it. It looks like uh, Lapidus is going to be perfectly able to take uh, all of Spain, which isn't really a surprise, except for the fact that he's fighting his own client state, but, well. But Rome should be able to easily deal with those, uh, those tribes. As far as I know, these Roman factions are actually uh, identical, except in the bonuses they get. A uh, distant member of the family is said to have a pet eagle. Bird came to the boy and perched on his right shoulder, a sure sign of greatness. Make him a priest or adopt him. Let's make him a priest. Also, let's not fight this uh, this battle just yet, because uh, Sextus Pompey is getting back on his feet next turn, so we can use him to lead the attack. Oops. Well, um, I'll just encircle it. Teaching Amidia who's boss. We see little and again they want bloodshed. peace. But uh, again, you're not getting it. Ready to come out. Blast by the gods, and suddenly I get more support. Um, let's not get that. I'll replace you with... Uh, Sextus Pompeius Magnus. Legatus. I can get a new Legatus unit. I have no idea why I would do that. Apparently he is also... Oh, he, he does have a household. Okay. Uh, why is the map turned? I don't want that. Victory for Rome! Victory for Rome! Yes, victory for Rome. Let's do this. What do they have? Uh, what oh, looks like a high quality spear unit. And some javelin men. Uh, well, let's let's still fight this. You know, it's not going to be a 
very interesting battle, but it is a battle, so we haven't had that for like one big part. I'm trying to decide what would be the best strategy because I, you know, I can't just stay here. And defend this this place if I take it. As you know, I do want to actually make some progress in this war. So what I think might actually be a good plan. But I'm not entirely sure, it's just take this place, uh, destroy the farm, and just move on uh, to the other smaller places so all the farms are destroyed. Doesn't really matter if they take it back after that. Or if the place rebels. I hope it actually will rebel because uh, those armies will be pretty big so the AI has some trouble dealing with them. I actually might just do that, you know, Scorched Earth uh, strategy, more or less. So, I'll have four guys there. Three guys here. Three guys here, somewhere, over here. Um, I'll have... This army is supported by two valid days. This army by one. And this group by one. And now the cavalry. I guess I'll have two on this flank. Two on this flank. Depends a little bit on what the enemy is going to do. I suspect they will stay inside their um, the village. But whatever they're going to do, it doesn't really matter because I am going inside. Should have made uh, control groups. Oh well. Yeah, if I just can prevent them from actually running away. That's the only pain with um, missile units. They are, you know, they have skirmish mode. One unit there, one unit there. So arrange units to intercept them. Wait until the, uh, the armies are in position and then I'll just charge the center. See these, this this color, it's uh, it looks really cool. Much better than the the red of Octavian, or the white of Anthony, or the worst, the yellow of Lepidus. Well, actually, maybe it looks really good. I haven't really fought any Lepidus guys yet, so uh, who knows? We'll see uh, soon, probably. Okay, so the armies are more or less uh, done. Alright, charge. Charge. And charge. You guys charge the noble infantry. You guys uh, get up there. You guys get up there. You guys get up there. Legionaries! 
Yeah, let's engage. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to win this easily. Yeah, they've already lost quite a lot of units. Also, they uh, in the last update, they actually added uh, fire at will for infantry units with um, ranged weapons. So now you could potentially use the, um, you know, the Roman legions as skirmishers. <laughs> well, I don't think they have skirmish mode actually. Uh, so. Oh well, that was quick. How quick? Three minutes. Well, almost four. We lost 20 guys, which is, uh, it looks like we lost them over like a whole bunch of units. So that means that next turn they will all be uh, replenished. But yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this, uh, this conquest. Because I kind of want to keep it. But I don't really know where the Numidian armies are. What would be the best plan? Because on the one hand, taking the small villages would prevent the Numidians from getting food. Which would, uh, as long as they're in their own territory at least, would reduce the, you know, the garrisons and all that because of uh, starvation. So that would be nice. But on the other hand, you know, the army could just march in and take the place. So if I could take out their army, and after that I'll take um, the capital. That would also uh, be really helpful. So it wiped out everybody. Uh... Let's see. Raising it will get me five. Occupying will get me. Oh, it looks like raising is actually going to be the best option because occupying will get me a one time minus 20. And after that, a you know consistent minus 15, which will reduce by one uh, per turn. But this will get me a minus 40 one time, but only a minus five per turn reduction. So actually, I think that might be the superior option. And looting will get me some money, but uh, it will get minus 35 one time and minus 20 consistent so public order is reduced and previous owners will hate you well I don't really care what the Numidians think of me I really wish my spy was in the, was in the area now So I really want to know where the Numidian army is because I'm assuming they have an army. Uh, should I? What? What should I do? Okay, I'll I'll try to keep it. Prepare the place. Um, Wait, can I already convert it? Yes, I can. 
Let's do that. And I can't do anything else, so that will probably result in some slums next turn. And I really hope that's not going to happen. Because that would really suck. But hopefully the Numidians will now be provoked to uh, attack me. Doubt it. But we'll see. Make him a strategist. Okay, and all these other factions aren't really a threat to me. Okay, there's a Numidian fleet, or whatever it is, and nothing else. Maybe the Numidians don't even have an army, that would be nice. Recruit a champion? Uh, not yet. Okay, so here we have that place that we were supposed to conquer and well who knows I might actually end up conquering it okay it looks like this place is all walking all the way over here we hunger for battle. but it doesn't look like walking here would actually get me attrition so I don't know. Okay, let's build a farm and a temple. Get rid of the temple eventually. But for now, it could actually help with the, uh, you know, the public order in the place itself and uh, starting to convert part of the population to Roman culture. My and Lord New Media again wants peace. But I don't want to. Illegal documentation. Salustia Lanata, what did she do? A young boy with an uncanny resemblance to a member of your family has appeared. He claims to be the man's son by the daughter of another patrician family. Uh, we'll adopt him because, well, we need to piss off some people. So this place is also complete. Um, are there smaller places that convert the population to... No, okay. okay so that place has wood. And I can't really say anything about the rest. Ready for battle! can't afford one right now. Oh, they are actually really expensive. I thought maybe I could get a Numidian Javelin man. But I probably shouldn't do that. I'll get Philosophers so I uh, have some more conversion in culture. What, what cultures are here? Latin. He's growing. And our desert nomadic is shrinking. And Latin isn't doing anything. Eastern culture is growing though. Weird. Okay. Do I see an army somewhere? That is the question, because if there is no army over here, I think I'll take this place first. At your command. And I believe I can actually leave the, command. yeah, I can actually leave the place. We hunger. Ready for 
Oh, there is an army over here. At your command. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> it's a pretty big army. That's probably a lot of javelin men. So what do they have over here? No food. No food. I don't know. What, what, what culture is Numidia? It's a desert nomadic faction. But apparently they have buildings which gives them eastern culture. I feel like that's... Uh, I feel like that's a mistake. Again, they want peace. Uh, long lost son, we got a general. Okay, I, I kind of want to see how how bad is the food situation in these places. Hmm, what do they have? <coughs> So they have lost a significant amount of units. This place also doesn't have any food. They're just building random other buildings which will get them money. But I kind of want to see how, how big is the garrison in here. That's, that's the most important thing. And not just this, this garrison, but actually this one. Because if this this one is actually really small, I can knock out Numidia immediately. Look at all of this food I'm building and that you don't have. The place is also really poor. I might actually be able to take uh, one of those places with the navy. All right. Um Okay, can't pay for a shrine to Jupiter. Ready for order. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, they have a elephants. Why do they all of a sudden... Did they build food somewhere? I don't know. But let's poison the provisions. Okay, but fighting those elephants is actually going to be a real pain. At your command. March. That means I need to save my Velites for them. Hmm. Ready for battle. I don't know if it would be a good plan to provoke them. Ready for orders. 
Let's get some, uh, some mercenary Numidians. Actually quite good. Let's get rid of this one and uh, get another one. Cost me a bit of money, but uh, I think it's worth it. Okay, fuck it. I'll just uh, I'll just attack it. Let's see what happens. Oop. And to you, I guess. Um, there. But if I if I succeed in taking this capital, I. Uh, yeah, I will have defeated Numidia, basically. They can't really raise any significant army after that. They probably can't afford it. Although, if I take out those elephants. Elephants are quite expensive. Oh my god, another one. Gaius Aulus Agricola. Your daughter is with child. She swears she has never known the touch of a man and believes that the child is a gift from Mars, the god of war. Uh, sure. Why not? At your command. My skills are yours. See if I can poison them again. An excellent choice. I can. So these elephants are actually uh, reduced by a lot, so that's definitely going to help. We take this settlement for Rome. Um, I'll just stop, I'll get a tortoise. Which is actually a really, <laughs> really powerful piece of siege equipment. Siege so I'll just uh, maintain the siege. For now at least. But uh, I guess I will end it uh, right here. So we've had our first battle. We have a foothold in Africa right now. Um, next time we'll probably knock Numidia out of the fight. Maybe conquer all of them. Let's, uh, let's just for a moment. Uh, yeah, that's... That's not going to do it. Okay. Um... But yes, uh, for now I uh, think I'll just uh, stop because I'm out of time. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you guys next time.